Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your favorite content creator on the platform known as Safely And uh, today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video basically complaining about e-girls Now for those of you that don't know what e-girls are, consider yourselves lucky But I'll go ahead and give you just a quick definition E-girls are people in the gaming community that essentially live life on recruit difficulty As one of my favorite YouTubers Birdman would say Now the majority of these e-girls have no skill except for the fact that they are a female and that they have a semi-attractive body and this skill is utilized by them in order to get leverage and clout off of Twitter in order to join COD teams, in order to get free merchandise, uh, and in order to just gain followers and kind of abuse the system in a way. Do better than everybody else because you are a female. Now if you don't see a problem with that, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you I think that you have a flawed thought process, um, however most people will find that to be pretty damn annoying. I think one of my main issues with these e-girls is the fact that G Fuel finds the need to sponsor these e-girls when they have no skill besides posting selfies. Now today specifically I'm going to be focusing more on the Call of Duty slash Fortnite side of things because this is really where I mainly see uh, my fresh batch of e-girls. I mean you got your Synergy Colbys, you got your Shorty Designs, you got your Sav Gretches. I mean y'all know what I'm talking about. These are people that basically just use their appearance to gain leverage in our community um, and then whenever they're called out on it they either block you, argue with you, um, or get you suspended altogether. I think one of my favorite things is when they get called out and the tweet gets like a bunch of clout and then all the white knights go to reply in like the comments like bro I'm sorry they're not going to have sex with you. So I'm just going to go ahead and glance over some of these e-girls Twitter profiles just to show you exactly what I mean and just give you a quick little rundown. So subject number one, we have Synergy Colby sponsored by G Fuel for I don't know what reason. Um, basically Colby just kind of posts selfies and streams off the PS4 and somehow she has massive clout because of that. Um, as you can see right here, she has a mere selfie uh, taken on March 17th saying, tell me what you want. And this mere selfie has gained somehow 5,400 likes and I cannot say that, I, that I, I'm, I'm disappointed. Like I know Colby is a streamer and all, but one, you know, she streams off the PS4. She's in Synergy somehow, okay, but she's not up to standards. Like I, I get the fact that not a lot of people are going to be able to go and just afford a full streaming setup. I understand that, but the thing is nobody watches her for her streams. You know, nobody watches her for her content. They're all looking at her because she is a female who shows off her body in order to gain clout tokens in the Call of Duty community. And let me tell you, when this girl got picked up to Synergy, like the first couple weeks, dude, like Twitter rained havoc on this girl. I almost feel bad for her because, you know, deep down, like I'm sure that she is a nice, good person. The only problem that I have with her is just, you know, the fact that she uses her body for clout tokens on Twitter. You know, I'm sure she's a good person at heart, but that's just what I have an issue with. Oh, and I also want to mention, she did get free merchandise from GTO mega racing for being a attractive e-girl that posts mere selfies um i am pretty concerned about that because there are people in synergy that have been grinding their asses off and have been in there longer than her that haven't received a chair or any free products but she can join synergy post a couple mere selfies and bam a $400 product just shows up at your door because, you know, you're kind of cute. Now, moving on right here, we got Shorty or Shorty's Designs, whatever you want to call her. I was actually in a team with Shorty a long time ago that was called Omen Snipers. Um, and she actually dated a uh, friend of mine that was in that team as well. Me and him no longer really talk. But um, anyway, I'm straying away from the point. Shorty here, also sponsored uh, by G Fuel, um, kind of just takes mere selfies. But she has evolved. She's been an e-girl for, I believe, much longer than Colby has so it's not so much you know mere selfies anymore it's kind of just like gradual selfies regular tweets but she's evolved so much that you know a regular person might not actually be able to tell that she is an e-girl but she has a past that is really anything but pretty um now i don't have the proof here um i could definitely find it uh, if i tried to look deep enough and talk to the right people um but i do hear allegedly i'm gonna say allegedly because i'm not gonna say that's fact uh but i do know 
uh, allegedly, that she did send nudes to an era leader for a hoodie or something along those lines. So that's cool. You know, scrolling through Shorty's Twitter it makes me want to rant about a little something else as well. Um, it still has to do with e-girls. I get really annoyed with the fact that a lot of these e-girls that kind of come off as streamers uh, feel the need to post selfies before they go live because those selfies end up getting them much more viewers than if they were to just post, you know, regular going live tweets. You know, they have to show off the fact that they are a female because whether you want to admit it or not, you know, if it's male streamer versus female streamer that have the same amount of clout, um, more than likely the female streamer is going to get more viewers because she is female. It's just fact. And if you're anything like these e-girls and you're just willing to go and just post pictures of yourself on your Twitter and uh, kind of nonchalantly show your body and use it for clout, uh, then you're going to pull a good amount of viewers and you'll probably make it in our community because that's just the flawed system we got going on. But uh, yeah guys, so that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Um, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smack that like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe.